factor. Um, see if it's going to be factorable. The main important thing a lot of students are, um, forgot was our special techniques of factoring. Okay, so if you guys have a binomial, if you have a binomial that you're looking to factor, it's either you can factor out the GCF or you're going to look into factoring the difference of two squares. The main important thing I do is look at my two terms. If they're square numbers, I'm automatically going to first think of difference of two squares. Well, 25 is a square number, x to the fourth is a squared term, and 9 is a squared number. So therefore, I'm going to want to use the difference of two squares, right? So if I have a squared minus b squared, if a squared, um, or since a squared is squared, I just need to figure out what a is. So basically, I do that by just taking the square root of my a squared. So the square root of 5, or 25, is 5. The square root of x um, to the fourth is just x squared. And then the square root of 9 is going to be 3. And then I have 5x squared plus 3. Does everybody see how I quickly and easily factor that? You can do it the long way. And you could say a squared equals 25x to the fourth. b squared equals 9. Right? And then solve for a. Or just do the positive. So you can do it the long way and then substitute them in. But hopefully you guys can be able to do this kind of in your head and say, oh, it's just the square of those numbers. Boom, boom. Now here, you look in this. This could be a difference of two squares as well. However, my 5 and my 3 are not squared numbers. And I couldn't use factoring because these don't share any common factors. So that's why I didn't factor out a common term. But a lot of times it's common to look to factor out a common term first. But in this example, we didn't have any of those. <coughs> 